The mission of a local nonprofit is to provide leadership, direction, and integrated resource management for quality services that support our vision of success for children. Coming up on Polk Place, we will talk about a film documentary screening. Make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Tina Mann. Joining me in the studio today is Danielle Harvey, the preschool instructor with Miss Adele's Learning Center. Dr. Mark Hutag, CEO with the Early Learning Coalition of Polk County. And last but not least, Belinda Kramer, the marketing manager with the Early Learning Coalition as well. Welcome. Thank you for Hi, having thank us. Thank you for having me. So I got an opportunity to, to watch this film trailer that you guys are bringing here, but I want to start with just giving a little brief overview of Early Learning Coalitions for the people who may have never heard of you. So why don't you tell us about what you do? Okay, well, the Early Learning Coalition is a organization in Polk County that is funded primarily through the Florida Department of Education, um, the Office of Early Learning, and what we do is primarily two major programs. We work with supporting what we call school readiness. That's where we take parents that are living in a, a set income bracket, usually it's at that 150% poverty level or less, and we help supplement their child care services. So what we do is, is we contract with about 350 of the um, child care providers in Polk County, and at, uh, at the end of the month, in a sense, we pretty much pay a subsidy to that child care provider on behalf of the parents that bring their children. As long as the parents are enrolled in school and or uh, having a job, then they can potentially qualify for our services. And, and a perfect example would be that maybe a, a, a family that qualifies for say 90 or 95 percent child care, at the end of the month they would pay 10 percent, we would pay 90 percent. Nice. Uh, so that's one. And then of course the, our second major program is, is we support and sponsor the VPK, the Voluntary Pre-Kindergarten Programs. You know, and that's a, that's a one year program prior to school beginning uh, for a child in, in kindergarten where they come for 540 hours of instruction in, in reading and numeracy, literacy skills. Uh, to prepare them for kindergarten. And that's entitled to, to all four-year-olds and potentially some five-year-olds in the, in the county, and that's what we do. That's excellent. And all of this plays directly into this film that you guys are going to be screening at the um, Polk Theater for free. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this film and why it's important? Well, I want to say, first of all, this documentary is like no other documentary that you've seen about early childhood development. It is beautifully done. It's very emotional, I will warn you. Has a few little tear-jerking parts, but it's beautiful because it does show the importance of the early learning that we need to have in this country. Only 3% of our national budget goes to early childhood development funding, and there's just something wrong with that. So it's like a wake-up call. It's a must-see film that you've got to see. And I don't think you'll be disappointed. You'll see parents portrayed with a real situation of how hard it is to raise children nowadays. You see a particular teacher, Rachel, and we have an example of a wonderful teacher with us today with Danielle here from, from Polk County. But in the film, you go into her classroom, you see some of the methods of, of teaching that she uses and how critical this is because the first three years of a child's life that's the window of time. 85% of that brain development is there. So the film really goes into all those areas and how it's just so urgent that we all discuss this and have it at the top of agendas. And I'm so excited that our state representative, Melanie Bell, is going to be attending to speak with Mark mm -hmm. at the conclusion of the film. It's only 70 minutes long in a beautiful venue. So we think that everybody should come out to it. It's a wonderful community event that you shouldn't miss. Excellent. Well, I know before the show started, you were kind of going into like the, you know, the main points of this film. Can you go over that with everybody? Yes. So one of the, uh, the biggest um, eye openers for someone like me in leading a coalition is, is to understand that early childhood development oftentimes is, is unspoken. And the ramifications of what occurs to a, a child through a lifetime um, oftentimes doesn't become a topic of conversation. So the great part about this film is, is it, it talks a little bit about how relevant it is for what children need to learn with an understanding that when children are born, in a sense they're almost born 
with a toolbox, but they don't really have the tools in it. And this film is very clear in explaining what happens to a child through those early years, through what occurs in the social, emotional, cognitive development, so that when they do go to school, become pre-adolescent, move into adulthood, what those ramifications are. And it's interesting because, you know, I, I often tell folks when it comes to early childhood development, you know, you wouldn't send a builder out to build a house without a toolbox, right? Yet, that's what happens when, in many cases, children are sent out to the world, you know, when they leave their home during that, that early age to go to school. They're, they're really not prepared. They don't have the tools to deal with what needs to happen. But I think the brilliant, um, the brilliant piece of this particular movie is, is that not only will it tell us about that brain development and get a clear understanding of what we've learned in, in the relevance, but you know, you, you, you come back to what it means to a return on investment in a community and what does it mean further down the road, what the costs attributed to children that don't get what they need at childhood. What does that look like when they become a little bit older? And then the movie circles back into, you know, what is it that creates a priority for our society and, and are we really putting in? And as Belinda stated, you know, we can, we can sit down and look on the economic scale for the United States as a country. The childhood wages, the early childhood wages that we pay folks in the field are at the bottom 3% of the wage scale as well. So, you know, you've got this piece that says you've got this tremendous, tremendous impact for early learning, yet on the vice versa side, you've got the least amount of money going into it. And I think that's what the brilliance is of this film. This film very clearly depicts that it's probably the most important thing that we could all do, yet it's probably the least supported of, of things that this country puts in a, a vested interest in. I can imagine that this is a film that's gonna benefit a lot of different people. I know as a parent, you worry constantly, am I teaching my kids the right things? What do they need to know? I mean, it's, it's scary because you know, Life is a lot different than when I was a kid, or even before then. I know the trailer goes into, you know, how it used to be in early civilization, everybody worked and did everything together, so everybody was seeing and learning and everything. But now we're so busy where, you know, everybody's working, everybody's trying to get to activities, and sometimes us as parents focus on the wrong things. Um, so who is your target art audience for who you want to see? At this book. Well, I would like to see every single teacher come because we're going to have a special recognition. So preschool teachers, but any teacher, because they're always affecting the lives of all these children daily. So our parents, I'd like to see parents come because they need to see why right. those first few years are so impacting. Every single community member, government leaders and officials, please come because we need your help with, like I said, the agendas, get that up there. We need the funding but we need every single community member involved because they're all in this circle around the child. And you mentioned how important it is to society and how you know the kids need tools in their toolbox. I know, again, we were talking beforehand and one of those tools is healthy habits at home. You don't always, as a, again, as a parent, you're running, running, running and you don't always have the time to teach your kids but you're doing something about that. So why don't you tell us about your experience? So this year we had an opportunity to do a COP with the Early Learning Coalition in Nemours and they did a Healthy Habits. They wanted us to try to get our students to eat more healthy foods and want to be more active outside because a lot of kids nowadays and parents, right. it's easy to stick your kid in front of a TV, a phone monitor, and not Some really engage, food. yeah, fast food, and not really engage them in outside activities, or sit down with them and eat with them and teach them. So whenever we did our Healthy Habits Co-op, I took from that that I should try to change my lifestyle. I'm with these kids more than their parents are usually. They drop them off early in the morning and mm -hmm. pick them up on their way home. So I would call the parents and ask if we could do a taste testing. One of our students, he really liked the tuna. So his mom called and said, Miss Danny, what's your tuna recipe? A four-year-old boy wanted tuna for lunch instead of the normal Lunchables with the cookies. So it was a great opportunity for me to shed light in front of all of them. Like, I can eat healthy, you can eat healthy. 
And at the beginning of the program, I was 225 ish pounds and now I'm 150. That is so fantastic. it was a life changing thing that a lot of everybody in my school kind of took hold with. And from what the Early Learning Coalition has given us was the only reason that that was like possible. So this film is a need to see. That is fantastic. That's such a great story because I know it's not easy. And you doing that and providing that example to them, you are a living proof that they can do it. And there's nothing more powerful than that. It's somebody yeah. not only saying the words, but actually doing the yeah, action. I was so. dedicated, and that's what we need in Polk County, is dedicated teachers and community members to be behind us. Our whole school is on a change because of this healthy habits. Other teachers are getting involved in other schools. It was great to be able to go and see what other schools and other teachers were doing with the healthy habits in their school because our Polk County, the Polk County obesity rates are 33%, which okay. is really high. So as a community, we should stick together and try to figure out a way to stop that and healthy habits was our starting point. That is awesome. So everybody needs to see this film. So it's going to be on Friday, October 11th. Again, that's at the Polk Theater in downtown Lakeland. At 6.30. At 6.30. So, I mean, it's just free a... Free admission. Uh, Don't miss free it. Free admission. Everybody's and, invited. Yeah. Right. And just a, a little bit of an aside, where do they get information about Early Learning Coalition? Where's the best place, best resources for them to contact? Well, certainly our website is probably okay. the best place at elcpolk.org. And it's updated all the time. They always have events. I mean, as a teacher, we go on there and check to just see what are the events going on? What are the, the next thing that they're going to be bringing? Because they, I'm, I work at a school readiness school, a, like a right. tier two school. So they are hugely involved in my school. But So they put all of their information all the time on their website. And that's fantastic. You guys provide such a great resource for the community. And you know, the little bit of an intro that you gave at the beginning is just a drop in the bucket of what you guys really do for the community. So we really thank you for coming out today. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you so much. No Small Matter is a feature length documentary film and national engagement campaign that brings public attention to this vital question by sharing powerful stories and stunning truths about the human capacity for early intelligence and the potential for quality early care and education to benefit America's social and economic future. This multifaceted project reveals how our country is raising its youngest citizens, why making the most of this time in their lives is so crucial, and most importantly, what we can do to change the perception of when learning begins. Join them Friday, October 11th at 6.30 p.m. at the Polk Theater at 121 South Florida Avenue in Lakeland. The screening is free. If you need more information, give them a call at 863-733-9064 or look them up on the web at www.elcpolk.org.